Hey, this is Grant Newman with State of Spark. I'm here with Meg Bellamy, and as promised, we have a series of these videos that we're doing where we're interviewing nonprofits, uh, starting here in Lakeland, but as me and Marissa are kind of progressing in our nationwide tour uh, around the country to Vancouver and back. But Meg is here because this is the top nonprofit that's had an effect in my life and in my wife's life and in our business's life. So of course we're going to start here in our hometown. So this is Meg, Meg Bellamy, and we'll be talking about her nonprofit Catapult. So first, before anything, yep. what is Catapult Lakeland? Awesome. So we designed Catapult to be a place where entrepreneurs can come and get the support that they need to start their business and to grow their business. And so we do that through a number of ways. One is a really cool collaborative workspace that was actually mm -hmm. designed and built by two of our entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. which is a lot of fun. Uh, through our programs, so a lot of educational programs are really important to us. So not just providing, hey, we have cool space, but hey, we have the resources and the infrastructure to help you actually start and run your business. Mm -hmm. And then through our mentor program as well. So mm -hmm. people that have experience connecting to people that either don't have experience or don't have experience in that specific area. So, uh, in short, what she's talking about is co-working spaces. And uh, if you're anywhere near a city, you're probably seeing a ton of these type of businesses popping up. Um, but I thought it was unique. Why did you guys do it as a nonprofit? Do a lot of them do it as a nonprofit? They don't. So there, there are some. There are several that do it as a nonprofit. But we decided to go the nonprofit route, and it was really just our heart. You know, we really mm. wanted to um, provide a resource, and we didn't necessarily want to make money off of it. And we wanted it to feel real and genuine to the entrepreneurs, knowing, hey, these people aren't just doing a real estate play. This isn't just you know, office space to make money. It's mm -hmm. office space that's really here to make a difference. And so obviously that oh, okay. helps with funding a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you can apply for grants. We haven't gone down that route yet. You know, people that are donating, they can get tax deductions. And so that's that's really good as well. So what I can deduct my rent expense? Uh, not exactly. Okay. <laughs> I wish. Your donation, though. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Okay, that's yeah. funny. So, so who, for the viewers, because yep. I know, but who is the we in we? Yes. So, Catapult is the brainchild of the Lakeland Economic Development Council. Okay. And the LEDC has taken city visit trips for about the past 10 years. And their, really? Yes. So, their goal was to focus on basically five different things. High skill, high wage jobs, higher education, health care, downtown development and redevelopment and entrepreneurship was kind of woven throughout all of that. Okay. And so they saw these things all over the country for mm -hmm. years and in different capacities. Sometimes they were more of an incubator style, sometimes mm -hmm. they were more of a co-working space, uh, you know, sometimes a tech shop or a maker space mm -hmm. with CNC machines and 3D printers. And so it wasn't until um, probably last year, the year before last, uh, their visit to Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. um, and that in combination with a company called IDEO. And IDEO is a global design firm that we hired. Mm -hmm. And so they came to Lakeland and just really helped us change the way that we think about things mm -hmm. and one of the challenges that they gave us and one of the things that you know we came up with together was how might we provide a space for entrepreneurs to flourish where experience meets startup mm -hmm. so that's really experience meets startup I that's that. really at the heart of what we do and our goal is to create these intersections where you know the entrepreneurs are intersecting with the business community and the more times that we can do that I think uh, it really just creates a healthy community. And so, yeah. you know, the LEDC's job is to focus on the big business. So bringing new companies here, helping existing companies grow. Mm -hmm. um, and those companies are really the ones that are funding us because they see that it's having these entrepreneurs here um, is a really important part of a healthy community. Interesting. Now, is the LEDC a nonprofit as well? They are. So they're a C6, 501C6. Okay. C3. And for background, the LEDC, um, just other stuff that she's not bragging on, but someone should, um, the LEDC was part of bringing like the Amazon warehouse to our area and negotiating larger businesses. That's what she's referring to there. Uh, and I never, I guess, I never put it together that LEDC was big business and this was focused on small emerging business. And it's not lip service. Like as a personal testimony, again, I work out of here. Um, I don't know if it's 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week, 20 hours a week. It could change. But the big advantage I always talk about, and we'll put links at the bottom of the screen or at the end of the video so you can see kind of what LEDC is doing, which you can see what uh, Catapult's doing. Um, but the big advantage is that environment of experience for, uh, and what did you say? Startup. Experience and startup because I am surrounded. We could walk outside with the camera, and I might do it at the end just with it on, uh, and just show you all the people doing different types of startups and working remotely and all kinds of fun stuff. So, so let me ask more about the nonprofit because, again, a lot of the viewers are interested in how nonprofits function or how they could function.